I'll tell you what an incident I love nature and I'm a lifelong member of the Sierra Club in America it's the world's largest environmental organization I don't do half as much work as Ravni because I have, this, I have other tour and other uh, have to do my job and some other projects I have including in India but my biggest I was going through a very personal setback in my life uh, that was four years ago and I happened to be in Kyrgyzstan or also volunteer for an organization called Doctors Without Borders so I happened to go to Kyrgyzstan do you does anybody know what Kyrgyzstan is? Anji, do you Somebody know, somebody nodded. It's a, one of the Central Asian countries. One of the travel groups can get the stans, S T N S stans. So Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Afghanistan, some people included, and Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan. So five main countries. So I happened to be working in Uzbekistan. I went to Kyrgyzstan. There's a uh, Pamirnot, and it's a bit south of that. There's a geography part there. But there's a, a, a small group of mountains there, a bit shorter than the Himalayas. I went for a trek there. Now I had some colleagues who wanted to come with me, but they had some work, so they backed out the last minute. I only one day, I had actually one night, I wanted to camp. So I took my backpack, I went, I started walking. And this is like a Russian speaking uh, country, former Russia, former Soviet Union. But very safe for women and all that, so I was very secure in that belief. But I knew that there's a there's a camp where the where Russian mountaineers used to call call it their base camp and they used to go mountaineering. So that was my goal for the day was to reach that camp. So I'm walking and I'm pretty fit. So I like I like to go hiking even in America and other countries where I, where I am. Then I'm going and then I know my uncle map which is a sign of the one or two spots lal rang mark. So that if hot it's just going to be here. And I knew that I'm not going to lose my way because it's just one narrow trek through the mountains that leads to that hut. Rather that's what gay it was the month of May thankfully it was still broad daylight i had not seen a human being for the last 4 hours and i and i heard a tinkling of bells i get the cows they honi honi sagde any body elevation thing and i was a bit scared my heart was sinking and i turned around and there were four or five goats staring at me like this i felt like god had sent them to me to inspire me to just go on nature we we get we tend to get very awed by nature hai na ki ho jayega the bird would be nice to buy a magic sweater by see me we laughed this because it was hot going up for elevation city but what it taught me was how can i be afraid of any obstacles in my life as i said i was going through an emotional setback when i am here in in mountainous territory i'm not a mountaineer it's 10 o'clock at night i have found a hut i lay down with my sleeping bag sega oh my that khol ke i lay down i was fearless and i could not believe myself this is how nature has inspired me